guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Obosha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So, for the longest time, I have been planning on doing a wig series for my YouTube channel. And finally, we are here. So, if you noticed, uh, the last wig video that I did was um, how to refresh your synthetic wig. So, that's like the first video in the series. And today, this is the second video. And today's lashes beautiful bundles are brought to you by beauty forever hair i did ship the hair in using box kenya and if you do stay in kenya i actually recommend that you use one of these shipping companies i've used box kenya and savo store and for both of them it's around 1500 to ship the hair in so and that's inclusive of the tax like you don't pay any extra tax so if you want to ship the hair in, I'd recommend you use one of these services. You can DM the stores and ask them, you know, the procedure and everything. But I will leave uh, the a direct link to this hair down below in the description bar as well. Mine is in, I have two 18-inch bundles, one 16-inch bundle, and my closure is also 16-inch. So I did talk to the good people at Beauty Forever Hair and they were kind enough to give two lucky winners bundles of hair and this is actually open worldwide. So it doesn't matter what country you are from, you as long as you enter the giveaway and you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you also follow the rules of entering the giveaway which will be down below in the description bar but just to go through them you need to follow Beauty Forever Hair on Instagram and on YouTube and I will also need you to leave uh, your email address down below in the, in the comment section so that you can be able to reach you if you are a winner and i'm actually really excited about this giveaway because it has come right along the time that i have hit 30k so it's, it's very exciting i feel like in a way i am giving back to you guys i know it's not everyone but you know one one step at a time so for this first video i thought that i will attempt to make my own wig and this is actually the wig that i'm wearing i know it looks okay on camera but along the way you will see a couple of mistakes that i made and this is in no way a tutorial this is like in capital letters this is not a tutorial on how to make a wig i'll keep practicing and when i get better i will come back with a tutorial but i just thought that i should document the first time that i ever tried doing it i think it turned out okay actually so yeah let's just jump into that video so i'm starting off by putting my wig cap on my dummy head i got my dummy head from best lady a few years ago at a thousand shillings but at dubois it's around 900 shillings and you can get a styrofoam one which i think is personally easier to work with and the wig cap i got two of them for 100 shillings at dubois as well these sewing pins that i'm using to secure the wig cap on the head i've had for the longest time since like form one because i used to take home science and you want to make sure that you do this just so that the wig cap does and to move around i have tried making a wig before and not doing this process actually makes it way harder than it should be so this is how my closure looks like it's in 16 inches and i did try to bleach the knots as you can see but i was not very successful but because this is the first time i was doing this i'm not very sure if the bleach i was using is the one that didn't work or the hair just generally didn't stick to the bleach well but all in all it ended up working out so now i'm taking the closure and pinning it into the wig cap i'm trying to take it a bit forward like a bit forward compared to where the wig cap ends and i'm just securing it so that when i start sewing on the closure it doesn't move around and also so that i can make sure that it is as tight as possible and this helps to prevent lumps and bumps as i sew in the hair so as you can see i'm just really really pulling and stretching the closure so that i can get it as tight as possible and then pinning in this ends to the um to the head so if you're using a styrofoam head this pinning part is actually easier because a plastic one sometimes it's a bit hard to push the pins through but it works if you have one you don't need to get a styrofoam one so now comes the sewing in part and this process was actually much easier than i thought it would be i was told that the sewing in of the closure is usually the hard part but honestly this was the easy part or maybe it's because i took home sense so sewing is not a big issue for me in general but then <laughs> 
yeah when it came to the sewing in of the actual tracks then that's where the struggle came but i'll get to that point so as you can see i am using the loop method to sew in my i skipped through this part because it took me a bit time to do but this is how the closure looks like and as you can see it looks very nice and neat and here is where i noticed that i should have put up a pin at the front just so that um the closure can lay a bit more flat at the front but in the end it worked out it was okay so for the tracks i'm starting with the 18 inch one and i doubled up the track just so that it can be a bit more thick towards the bottom of the head and sewing in this guys it was such a struggle i can't even lie to you guys i think I, I don't know if it was my technique but it took me forever as in i literally even went to the sitting room sat to do this whole process so yeah be, be prepared for the work So when I got to the top of the head, instead of sewing in double tracks, I started putting in one so that it cannot be bulky. And this is actually the finished result as you can see it's not that bad like everything ended up working out which i'm very happy about then now comes the part to cut in the wig cap because no one's scalp is black and it will show through if you do not cut your cap but just be care very careful with this process Okay guys, so I have put on the wig and this is where we are at so far. So there's still a lot of things that the wig needs to be done to. Like for example, okay, let me tuck this lace in so that you guys can see how it will look like when I have cut the lace. Uh, okay, so after i cut the lace this is what it will look like look something like this now as you can see no one's hairline honestly looks like this like it is way too straight here so i want to go ahead and tweeze a bit of the hairline so that i can make it more natural i'm just going to remove a few of the hairs and also i'm going to make a, a side part i think on my frontal so i'm also going to tweeze some hairs from um, the closure so that my part can become more clean but yeah i think that's basically it uh what i'm going to do to the wig i'm also going to go and flat iron it now i don't personally own a flat iron so i'm going to have to go and um borrow one from samora samora is my best friend in case you know you're new here so yeah we're going to go i'm going to go flat iron it then probably also tweeze it at the same time since this wasn't really a tutorial i just wanted to share <laughs> my experience making this wig so that i can document my fast because you know that's what my youtube channel is for so i'm going to come back after the hair has been flat ironed and i have figured out my part maybe i'll tweeze like the hairline with you guys but for like the part because um i'll need heat at the part like after i have tweezed i'm going to need to take like the hot flat iron and press on this side and on this other side so that it can lay flat so everything that has to do with heat i think i'm going to do it off camera tomorrow probably and then i'll come back to you guys when the hair is flat ironed and i'll show you guys how i lay my wig this is the hair all flat ironed and as you can see i actually decided to go with a middle part instead of a side part but in case you can't tell the difference you see um before i twist the hair on my part this is how it looked like if i could have tried to part my hair as you can see there is no like line over there so this is what i was talking about when i was saying that i am going to tweeze 
some of the hair out so that it can be able to become like a nice clean part i didn't twist the hair on the hairline because after i flat ironed it and it laid pretty flat on my head i realized it wasn't necessary because there's no point that i'll be wearing the hair back for this i just want it to be like a side part and also because <laughs> i'm a beginner at doing this whole thing i wanted it to, you know to just make the process a bit easier for myself so the reason why i didn't show all of these steps on camera is because they will be in another part of the series just so that this video can't be too long in the other one i'll show you guys how to dye your knots and how to create your parts on your frontals or your closures so that will be in a separate video that will be coming to you very very soon but yeah this is basically it for the wig so i'll show you guys a few more things that i added so that the closure can lie really really flat on my head i had to add a what is this called this band sort of thing so what i did is i measured like from this ear like i stretched it out like like this and then i stretched it put it on one side and on the other side then put a bit of allowance and then i just cut it off and then uh shunned it on the wig itself so on the inside from here to here I put this lace just so that it can be able to really you know pull the wig back so that it can lie really really flat on my head another thing that I also sewed onto the wig are these clips over here right here so I have a clip at the back of my head one here and one on this other side i bought these clips from dubois one goes for 50 shillings and the band i got from a textile shop i bought two meters at 200 shillings if you try and get it from like a wig shop i really really tried to look and i couldn't get them so i'd recommend you go to like a clothes shop so that you can be able to get this elastic so i'm really really excited about this wig series because i feel like it will be a learning process for both you and me because i'm not like a wig guru or anything like that but i feel like i pay a lot of money first of all to get these wigs made or you know to customize them so if i can learn how to do it myself then it will save me a lot of money and also you know i want to share it with you guys so that is it for this week's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every mondays and thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye